Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, well, we're going to be talking about, well, what's going on and uh, why are people still wearing their mask even though, uh, you know, everyone's already fully aware, or at least I think that they are fully aware that um, <clears throat> there's no need to wear this thing anymore. Because again, you guys already saw I'm not wearing mine and I'm definitely not going to wear mine and, I, and it's crazy because now I feel like the pariah out here. Okay, so how does it work? Okay, so you already know most uh, mo most people back before um, the, co the whole quarantine thing, right before uh, coronavirus, before all this stupid shit, um, the only time you would see anyone wearing a mask, the only time you would ever see anyone wearing any kind of mask is when they were sick. When they were, tr you know, when they were like really sickly or feeling bad or, you know, they didn't want to spread the disease. They didn't want to get anyone else sick. None of that shit. Um, and now it's the other way around now everyone else is wearing a mask and then Yeah, like if you are not wearing a mask, you're the pariah. So it's just very weird. I really again I really don't give a crap I'm not here to um, Appease anyone's uh, opinion or or anything like that. I'm, I'm here to do me I'm here to live my life. That's why I came to Mexico so I can have freedom and liberty so I'm gonna keep the camera pointed forward so you guys can take a look. So you guys can take a look. Things are starting to get back to normal. It is Friday afternoon, 5.30 p.m. Friday, okay, so Friday, 5.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And um, yeah, you know, I'm just walking around. It seems like business as usual again. It seems like things are back to normal. I love seeing people without wearing their mask on. It's fucking awesome. Um, I hate when they put it back on, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? You know, everyone is, uh, you know, right now, uh, unfortunately, um, brainwashed into thinking that they have to wear it and that wearing it is going to save their lives and save the lives of others and, and all that stupid shit. But the reality is that, well, we already know what's going on. We already know that, you know, no one's really getting sick. We already know that no one's really, you know, dying. We already know that this thing is all bullshit. But yet, you know, we still see plenty of people that, are choosing to wear it they're choosing to to do their thing and it's okay there's nothing wrong with that again that's why i love you know being out here is because it's voluntary again it's voluntary and you don't have to wear one all right but anyways all right i just wanted to show you a little bit of what's going on and all that good stuff see again look they have the street closed they're forcing people to you know create traffic when there isn't any traffic but again, look, I'm not, I'm not here to talk about what's going on. And uh, I'm not here to talk about what's necessarily going on here. Um, today's episode is for my regular channel and we're just gonna be talking about, you know, um, this whole um, PSYOP that we're all like right now um, under, you know, meaning that, you know, the whole mask wearing situation, you know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of crazy. Basically, you know, now me, look at this guy, the rebel without the mask, how's it going? <laughs> you know what I mean? See, like, see, look, two rebels smiled at each other. You saw that? I'm sure, I'm sure you saw. So, you know, the guy on the skateboard and me without the fucking, you know, without my mask. But anyways, but yeah, the social pressure, the social pressure is so much that, you know what I mean? You have to be a social pariah like myself in order not to wear one without a problem. Like, I don't, you know, again, I have, <laughs> I have nothing to prove. I have nothing to, to anything. I just, I'm not going to wear one. Because again, since I already don't give a fuck what anyone has to say about me or, or anything like that, um, I have the ability to not have to wear one, not have to comply, not have to fucking, uh, you know, um, follow these uh, insane protocols that don't make any sense at all. And so with that being said, you know, with that being said, you know, where are you going to fall? What, what's uh, your situation? What are you dealing with? Because the thing is that this is happening all over the world right now. Um, the reality is, is that the reality is, is that someone like me that is choosing not to wear it on my mask, I am the one that is now, you know, being looked at, at as, you know, from a certain angle, certain way. Like, why are you not wearing your mask? Look, I love seeing things open already. It's the best. Bueno, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, 
but yeah you know things are slowly starting to really open up again there we go we got the little we had the tourist shop open there we got the car rental place open that's right you know we're going back to business now i'm just filming today i don't know what what channel this is going to be on uh maybe on both maybe maybe on one but you know today's episode is just you know to talk about the fact that you know i'm gonna get in the shade today i've, I've been getting enough sun the last year, several days but you know again you know the 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 topic today is that like what team are you on are you we already talked about this but we got to talk about it again we got to keep talking about it because a lot of my videos keep getting blocked and demonetized and uh or just again straight up blocked and taken down and uh with that being said what team are you on are you on the team of uh not wearing your mask because you know better you know better than to We got stores already back open which is awesome look at that so all right so again what team are you on are you on team i'm gonna wear my mask no matter what because you know I, I believe everything the government says i believe everything that you know they're telling me um is that who you are gonna be or are you gonna be on team um i don't give a fuck and i'm not gonna wear my fucking mask and no one's gonna tell me to fucking wear it um yeah, well, you know, with all the fucks I'm saying, I'm thinking I'm going to put this on my regular channel. <laughs> but again, what team are you on? You know, what team are you on? Are you on team, uh, you know, I refuse to wear these fucking, you know, masks. I refuse to take my vaccine. I refuse to do all this insanity. Or are you on team, please, government, give me more. So this is already opening up. I already have some friends that came out to dinner out here. Tables out. All that stuff. But again... <clears throat> as as everything is opening up there's plenty of people out there you know there's plenty of people out there that are just debating why are you opening you're gonna kill more people this is the worst thing you could do nah. you know all that stupid shit. you know what i mean and then there's tons of other people you know that are basically saying um yeah open up um i want to go to a restaurant i want to go get some coffee i want to go out and do stuff and um you know for example i am not i am not ready to go out yet all right i'm not ready to go out just yet i love seeing the traffic i love it there we go i love the fact that we're starting to get traffic again yes we're starting to get people out of their house again finally we're moving in the right direction but anyways you know right now there's tons of people that are I mean, look, I could go out to a restaurant already with my girlfriend, with my wife, I'm sorry. Actually, I can go already to, my, to a restaurant and do all that stuff. But, you know, the reality is, is like, I don't want to go to a restaurant in which I have to wear a mask to go to the restaurant. What the hell? What the fuck? Yeah, are you kidding me right now? And then, you know, not only do I got to wear the mask to go inside the restaurant, I got to sit at the table with the mask on and then take it off when I'm going to eat. I got to put it back on when I'm going to go uh, to the bathroom or whatever. It's like, no, man. I ain't down with none of that shit, you know what I mean? I'm definitely not down with any of that stuff. And so, you know, with that being said, you know, that's why I haven't gone out yet. I'm literally waiting until last, you know, possible minute, you know, when and the whole thing is lifted. See, look, this is already open. Thank God. Amen. See if I can show you guys a little bit. But yes, finally starting to open up again. Amen. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm just sneaking in here. <laughs> not allowed in here right now but yeah this place is finally opening up all these are restaurants you know you can come in here and uh, enjoy yourself and uh this is Megalo 60 and this is awesome you know it's really 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 happy to see this place already open and and all that stuff hey <laughs> so you know with that being said again you know everything is uh seems to be coming back to normal amen finally this is driving me crazy <laughs> all right yes someone without a mask i love it two more people without a mask yes you know what I mean? There we go. There we go. So, and that's the thing. You know what I mean? The reason I really choose to not wear one um, more than anything else is because, again, I already know. 
I already know the idiocracy behind it. I already know the control behind it. I already know all this stuff. And a lot of people out here know it too. And now it's not mandatory again. And uh, people are just choosing not to wear it again. And so that's it. You know what I mean? But again, you're still going to see a lot of people with the mask like you saw earlier in the show. Because, um, you know, there's still a lot of people that are adhering to the social pressures. You know, they're adhering, you know, they still are believing a lot of the propaganda. And they're scared and, and all this other shit. But the reality is there's nothing to be scared about. You know, there's absolutely nothing to be scared of. And, um, you know, it is what it is, you know, like, I, again, I love when I get dirty looks. I love when I get, look, look dude, this guy ain't dying. Nothing's happening to him. Nothing's happening to me. You know, we're good. No disease. Nothing like that. But as I was saying, as I was saying, you know what I mean? Like, as, if I don't, if, unless I'm going inside a bank, unless I'm going inside a store, unless I'm going inside some sort of, uh, you know business you know in which i have to wear it because of the privacy you know the whole private business thing look man you know other than that i'm not wearing shit in fact i just came from a from a business you know that's why i was in the central and um you know they're, they're not even taking my temperature no more they're barely even giving a fuck you know what i mean like it's just like kind of looking on to see if i kind of have my mask on which i don't again even when i wear my mask indoors i wear it half assed i don't even wear it fully you know what i mean so and that's it you know what i mean like I, i'm not even worried about it now yeah out here out here in the states i mean out here out here in uh, mexico yeah out here in mexico just like in the states you know you are definitely seeing people all um you know that are in different parts of mexico like for example i saw a video today of some lady getting in a fight at little caesar's she was getting in a fight at little caesar's because she had to wait in line at little caesar's you know outside in the heat with the mask on all right you know wait and wait and wait and wait and then when she got when she finally got to the front of the line to get her pizza that guy that worked there the worker was like oh i'm not gonna give you a pizza because you're not you weren't wearing your mask the whole time and she fucking lost it and i was watching that video and i was showing yeah great that's me you know what i mean if some, something like that were to happen to me i would fucking lose it too are you fucking kidding me right now and uh so we're starting to see a lot of that, you know what I mean? And so, you know, going back to like what we were talking about, you know, in other episodes and what we're going to be discussing right now, I know it's already 12 minutes in, but the fact that, again, what team are you on? Are you on team, uh, I got to wear my mask and I'm going to believe the government, believe the, the CDC, the WHO, and all these other people that are, they keep lying and they keep, you know, uh, showing wrong information and all that shit? Or am I, you know, going to think for myself, use common sense, use my brain, use everything that grandma taught me and everybody else taught me and everything I know and take care of my immune take care of my immune system take care of my body take care of all that I'm on team I'm gonna take care of myself right and um, I know a lot of people want the, you know they want the big government big daddy a lot of people want big government big uh, big brother to tell them what to do to tell everybody what to do but you know what it's not it's not turning out very well is it I mean, you know, look at what's going on. See, Paseo Montejo's opening up. Everything's starting to open up slowly but surely. But anyways, I mean, I know, I know what's best for me. I don't trust no government entity to tell me or show me what's best. You know, I trust me. I trust, um, you know, what I, what I know and what I, what I, you know, what I know about my body and what do I know about um, health and the immune system and all that stuff. I trust me more. I trust real, actual medical ex experts um, more than some fucking government-appointed doctor, than some government-appointed uh, entity, and none of that shit. And um, and that's what we're starting to see. I mean, honestly, here in Mexico as well, you know, we're starting to see a lot of people. So anyway, so this place is just all they did was open. All they did was clean the fuck out of this place. So that's not like necessarily a bad thing. They, they actually used all the time. That they were closed here in Merida to not just um, you know clean a lot of areas like this and leave them spotless, um, but you know also um, you know fix the streets. There's tons of potholes, tons of messed up streets, tons of areas that needed a lot of work and they could never just close it because there was just too much traffic in certain areas. So they used all that time in order to fix a lot of the things that they needed to fix, in order to clean a lot of the things they needed to clean, in order to get things back into shape. So honestly, you know, now as everything is starting to open up again, it's actually pretty good shape. You know, again, you know, now people are starting to go back to work. 
so you know even though even the government employees so now they're coming back and fixing the parks and cleaning up everything and yeah you know before you know it we're gonna be back to usual back to business thank god amen and um again it's a very different atmosphere out here it's a very different um vibe out here it's just things are very very different out here when you compare them to other parts of the world but again as you guys can see you know just like you see you know you've already seen a few people like me without wearing any kind of protection you know just like you're gonna see right in a couple seconds in front of me you know there's people that are standing in the middle of fucking nowhere with tons of protection you know with like a you know you might as well put them in a hazmat suit and again i think these things are hilarious yeah i'm gonna see if i can show you but yeah you know it's all great you know it makes me really happy to be walking out and about and seeing things you know starting to get back to normal but yeah whenever i see this it just drives me up the wall whenever i see what i'm seeing right now it just drives me up the wall it drives me bonkers you know but what am i gonna do you know what, what can i do nothing you know all i can do is uh you know be the example and uh not wear one and show people look you don't have to wear one either you're not gonna die you're not gonna kill anybody nothing's gonna happen and um i gotta keep repeating that over and over again because again like people don't listen you know like again the cdc has already said and the and the, and the who and all these motherfuckers have already said like the death rate for this fucking thing is like 0 .003, 0 0.004 and yet people are choosing still not to not to even you know, believe that they want to believe what they want to believe you know people want to be i'm um, scared people want to be um in, in in the state of uh of fear people want to be controlled people in a sense don't want to think they don't want to do anything they just want other people to tell them what to do they want other people to dictate to them um what is the best option what is the best everything and it's like i never really you know went i never thought like that i've never been one of those guys i never go with the flow i don't you know i don't i don't go with the trends i try to make my own trends and um, that's just me though, you know what I mean? I'm not, <laughs> not trying to be cool or anything, it's just the way I am. You guys already know that by now. But, you know, to me, to me being the rebel that I that I am, to being the guy that I am, you know, now I'm walking around at Centro without my mask on and, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cross the street here. But anyways, yeah, me walking around without my mask on, me walking around um, the way I'm walking around right now, it makes me feel like a million bucks, man because without me saying a word without me saying a word as i'm walking in that crowd of people i'm basically saying i am not a slave i am not going to be you know adhere you know i'm not going to i don't listen to anything that they, that anyone tells me and um i walk to my own tune i walk to my own uh you know <laughs> to, to my own story my own everything and um in this case you know when i'm walking around and i see everyone with their face mask and i see everybody you know scared whether they're scared of the disease or they're scared of the the cops or whatever the fuck they're scared of you know the point is is that i don't i'm not scared you know what i mean and not only am i not scared but i f again i feel like why you know i mean wow i am you know i i am the only one out here with the balls to not wear this thing and um and i know there's a lot of people that don't want to wear it but i do know a lot of people do want to wear it there's a lot of people that want to wear it there's a lot of people that want more control there's a lot of people that want everything shut down indefinitely there's a lot of, i mean and, and again look when i'm here locally and i see that there's a lot of local white american expats or foreign expats and all they want to do is keep everything closed and and all they keep saying is like oh you're spreading the disease and you're gonna kill people and uh and you know all the all the talking points all that narrative it makes me and I, I, like honestly it makes me so crazy irate it's not even funny um and so look I, by the way real quick a lot of people out there are always asking me about am i on facebook or do i do facebook and i'm like no i don't do facebook in fact i recommend a lot of facebook groups a lot of local facebook groups so that you guys can join them and get information and learn you know um from other expats that are living out here but you're never going to see me on there you're never going to see me con uh, even though i subscribe to all of them and i'm part of the, all the groups I'm, I'm i'm always lurking and i'm never saying anything or doing anything because everybody you know in the, the local facebook groups all they're talking about is the fact that 
Oh, you know, again, everything that I just said right now is like, oh, we got to keep everything closed. We got to, you know, we, all you, all people are doing are closing things. Oh, I, I hate that I go to certain parts of uh, Merida and there's so many Mexicans without their mask on and, you know, all this shit. And I'm like, bro, get the fuck out of your fucking ivory tower. Shut the F up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know, like, I, again, I really, you know, all they do is complain about, I can't leave the house, I can't get alcohol, I can't do this, I can't do that. But at the same time, they're constantly saying, you know, hey, please lock me down, please keep everything closed, please. And it's like, I just want to go and slap every one of them. And that's why you're never going to see me on any one of these groups. And um, I have my own group, I got my own channel, I got my own everything. And you guys find me because when you do, and, and by the way, when you do find me, it's uh, such a breath of fresh air because... Well, I'm the only one out here talking about these things and saying these things. And there's a lot of people that think like me, but they don't have a group. They don't have a, um, like a, a group of friends, you know, a group of friends, a group, a circle in which they can, you know, talk these things about openly, freely without getting ostracized. So, you know, one thing that I'm, you know, building out here besides this community is, is, um, again, like, a, I don't want to say safe space, <laughs> but in a sense, it's a safe space for people that think like me, think like you and all that good stuff. And in fact, you know, um, now before I get, you know, I should have said this at the beginning, but, you know, you guys should go down real quick and go to cl click all the links down below. Um, go to my website. Um, go check me out, um, you know, on BitChute, on Library, on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, basically, every single one of these, uh, you know, links that I have below, join the Discord group. You know, it's a giant chat room where you can chat with everybody. You know, why? Because right now, Look at this guy with the plastic in between the... Uh, anyways. Sorry, but like I was saying. Um, yeah, you know, join because like um, the last several videos I've been making have been blocked by YouTube and taken down straight up. And um, this one might as well also, you know, be a future candidate for getting taken down for, obvious, for the obvious things I'm talking about here. But the point is, is that Look, this is like now a little motivational type thing. Right now, you know, like in the situation that I'm in, I find that I am alone in a sense, you know, because I'm not wearing my mask. And there's other people that think like me, but they're just hidden between the cracks. So in a sense, instead of me conforming, instead of me conforming to another one of these groups where I don't think like them at all, and um, for me to join them, I would have to change my ways change my thinking change my everything in order to just be accepted and join this group that's why i remain alone okay that's why i don't join those groups that's why i don't do anything like that i remain alone and in fact what do i do what do i do i start my own group i start my own thing i start my own everything you follow me and with that being said well you know what i mean then you don't have to fucking worry about fitting into any group because you made a group for yourself and uh, now people are finding you and you're fitting around them and vice versa and that whole thing that's why when people find me they're already fitting into the group and all that shit because well look at this look at all the progress they've done in just a few days amen look at this don't touch probably electrical <laughs> but look at this i love it it's a lot of work they've done in a couple days holy crap so there's gonna be a brand new hotel guys that they're putting here that's a hotel that's some guy that lives there that's a local but yeah, they bought all these houses and they were building a hotel when it got really interrupted by uh, by the quarantine shit. But anyways, yeah, they're back to work, amen. So it looks good. But anyways, but yeah, again, you see, just build your own, man. Just build your own. You don't need anything or anyone. And uh, when you do your own thing, you, all of a sudden things start really clicking, all right? When you stop listening to society and what others have to say and you just do your own thing, that's when things to really start going your way. But anyways, I digress. We're here. It's time for me to wrap it up. All right, guys? And it's very hot. I got the sun right in my eyes. <laughs> anyways, good thing I need that vitamin D, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope, today's, uh, ep I hope today's episode was good. It was just me walking and talking, sharing my thoughts. You know, um, my random thoughts in my head at the moment as I was walking home. I was going to take an Uber, but the reality is, is that like the Uber was taking so long. And I was like, you know what? Let me just walk home. I got my camera. Let's do this. Let's have some fun. So with that being said, guys, you already know the deal. 
please check out all the links down below go to my website sign up um check out the other channel check out everything so that way you never lose contact and um that's it guys you know just start asking start you know making the decisions that are actually going to matter and, and count you know um when it comes to you know why you are wearing this or not wearing this okay seriously all right stop conforming to the group and start you know going thinking with your heart and thinking with your mind and using everything that you've learned so far okay let's not forget that remember common sense ain't so common all right so you know use some common sense all right please i know a lot of you guys do but you know unfortunately in this in this uh, day and age of common sense ain't so common all right guys well with that being said thanks again for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell like on but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye